Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Youth Matters. On today's show, we are discussing, uh, we're carrying on with the discussion on uh, love or arranged marriage. What is best? And, uh, you know, moving forward for our youth, which route uh, should they be pursuing uh, when it's their time of marriage? And, uh, you know, this is a discussion that's been going on for a very long time. We'd love to hear from you. What do you think? Do you think, out, uh, you know, arranged marriage is now outdated? What's your view on that? If so, please do get in touch with us, uh, whether it's uh, through the number on the screen and come and speak to us in the studio or send an email and we will share that with you uh, today and as always you know this is available on Facebook so if you want to watch this or if you're out and about you know you can access uh, this show online now we've had a lot of people emailing us uh, we've had one sister who's emailed and she's saying it is very important for every individual to learn and find themselves before they seek marriage uh, marriage is a huge step in learning uh, how a marriage can be successful prior to marriage is vital but unfortunately that doesn't always happen so I think very good advice uh, from the sister um, Adi what would you say you know in your opinion uh, you're not married yet um, would you argue that it's important that we learn a lot about ourselves. We also kind of understand what it, what the responsibilities, duties are, uh, before yeah. before we make that big step. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I think that ties into the question as to whether or not there's an ideal age uh, which you should get married. Uh, people mature at different ages. Um, some mature younger than others. Some have had uh, more responsibilities before others. Um, in terms of finding yourself, in terms of your outlook on mm. life. Can I come back to you? Yeah, yeah. I do. Okay, we've just got a call online. Salaam alaikum, caller. Hello, Salaam alaikum. Well, Salaam. Uh, how would you like to uh, contribute to the discussion today, sister? Um, it's just about the topic you're talking about. Yes. Um, like, is arranged marriage outdated? Yeah, what's your view on that? Well, personally, I don't think it's outdated, but um, a, lot of, like, a lot of parents nowadays, I think they get mixed up with forced marriages and arranged marriages. Like, they would obviously tell a girl to meet the guy, but they'll like kind of blackmail the girl and be like, oh, he's really nice, he won't find anyone like that. It's like she doesn't really have a choice. Mm -hmm. And I think nowadays some parents think that's what you call the arranged marriage, when obviously that's against Islam. Mm -hmm. Thank like, you, sister. That's not how it works. Okay, thank you. I think that's so, a, uh, thanks for clarifying that for us. And uh, you are right. I think some people, there is a misconception. We will discuss that on the second sec uh, segment. Um, I think we also have another caller on the line. Assalamu alaikum, caller. Assalamu alaikum. How you doing, brother? Thank you for calling in. Uh, what's your view? Do you think arranged marriage is outdated? Well, we need to define what marriage is first Very and good. what is the purpose of marriage. Okay, so if you could do that for us, that would be great. Okay, marriage is actually a bond, a contract between a male and a female. You're not or... reading an online definition, are you? <laughs> no, 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 okay. I'm just... It's uh, coming from the heart. I'm talking from the heart, yes, I'm not following. I'm not even a <laughs> computer uh, uh, literate yet, I'm an old man. Okay, mashallah. <laughs> Carry on. So I'm, 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 li I'm, I'm speaking from life experience. That's fine, thank you. Okay, so you see marriage, marriage is a contract, whichever way you look at it, when two people decide to get ma <coughs> married, they would have to get it organized, whichever way they go through. And to get it recognized, they need witnesses, even if they have it registered or have it solemnized religious way. So what's happening is, at the end of the day, it needs to be organized. Without organization, it wouldn't happen. Sure. And, so, and brother, and, did, you, did you have a love marriage or an arranged marriage? Well, I had an organized marriage. Okay. <laughs> you see, I'm a, I'm a devoted Muslim, and Islamic religion does not allow free mixing of men and women before marriage. Okay, thank you for that, brother. Uh, and uh, Elaine, tell us about your experiences as well. Um, so I think, uh, Jabe, you know, the, uh, the first caller touched upon uh, mm -hmm. the importance of making sure that we're not confused between forced marriage and arranged marriage. And do you feel that mm -hmm. sometimes it can, you know, it's, uh, it can get interlinked, it can be kind of uh, synonymous? Amongst especially our parents, eh? I think it probably. Uh, w uh, what do you mean? Sorry, uh, so, I didn't quite so, get that. So, so you know, you've got arranged marriage and you've got forced marriage. Yeah, and and even within, and I think the question that I was asking uh, brother Masood earlier, mm -hmm. where you know, from a Western perspective, sometimes it's also kind of seen as maybe arranged and forced is the same thing. Which we, well, that's which more of a, that's more of a media problem, media mm. skewed everything really. But um, I don't, I, I'm aware that there is uh, forced marriages and there's all, also n many number of weird, um, uh, let's just say traditional mm. practices that go on um, in regards to marriage. Okay. I don't. I don't. We don't really want to. 
uh, mention any of those practices. I don't uh, necessarily. Did you see them much. online on those websites? Uh, on those websites, yeah. on those websites, you don't really want to know what happens. Okay, <laughs> okay, maybe that, you know we've got young people watching. So exactly, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that. It's family we, We've got uh, another email that's just come through. We've got emails flooding in today. Uh, family may presume you are ready for marriage. This happens sadly because our culture says that women should get married by 26, possibly, and men by 30. Otherwise, they are seen as old. The question is: Would you rather get married a year or so later, finding the right person, or rush into the marriage with someone not as compatible? Okay. Masud Bhai, what's your take on um, how old, you know, the age argument? What's the well, right I age I think just follow the legal uh, definition of the country you live in, uh, in terms of what the right age is. You're going to have but children right now saying to their parents, <laughs> Masud Bhai said, it's okay, I'm 18, I yes. should be getting married now. Yeah, well, you know, uh, all move to Scotland and <laughs> you should get married, I think, when you're 16, as long as okay. your parents agree. Okay. Uh, but uh, I, I think ultimately, it's not an age thing, it's more to do with maturity mm. and uh, apart from the legal definition of course, you know, in term, you are, well, I'm talking about people past the legal age. Uh, can so, I, can I ask how old you were when you got married? I was quite young comparatively I think, uh, I still am young, yeah, uh, you but 25 it. years ago I was 21. 21? Yeah. Okay, so mashallah, that is actually um, quite relatively young for a guy. Yeah. Um, would you so, okay. That's fine. And would you say that it was the right time for you? As in for me, it was the right time. If you ask my wife, she would say, why didn't you delay it by a few years? Then you would have been a bit more mature, sure. even though I was, I thought I was very mature. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I think uh, if you ask my wife, she would say, why did you rush it? If you delayed it by a few more years, you probably would have had Oh. more stability and everything else in terms of career because I did a lot of my uh, studying after I got married sure. so she had to put up with all that. Okay. Uh, uh, can, I, can I ask uh, that during the next break interval that you try and see if uh, your wife can uh, give us a call? Uh. Uh, give her <laughs> side of it because I think we're hearing a lot from you. Okay? <laughs> uh, we've got a caller yeah. on the line. Yeah. Uh, Salaamu Alaikum Kola. Salaamu Alaikum Kola. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, brother. I was just wondering, yeah. um, is it halal to have a... <laughs> is it halal to get married? Okay, so oh. it, it is halal. Uh, I think if you're asking from an Islamic perspective, you know, it was the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, so the sister was asking, is it halal or haram? And I think this is a question, <laughs> Adil, that does get asked quite a lot, where some people think, you know, is it, is it sinful if we, from an Islamic perspective if we don't get married? Obviously, uh, following the steps, oh, uh, footsteps. The yeah, following the footsteps of the Prophet uh, one is encouraged to get married. Was, you, was that the question? Was yeah. it haram to? So that that was what the sister was, was alluding it, uh, to. Halal yeah. to get married? Oh, um, oh, is it halal not to get married? <laughs> um, I don't know. You need because some people use that argument, don't they? They say, you know, I don't want uh, to be married yeah. at all. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I'm not the best. What's your what's your, what's your, what's, your uh, what's your take? What's your understanding of that? Um, I think. Um, um, uh, you need to ask someone that's more suited, so but uh, you know it was on, it's one of the Prophet yeah. um, I don't know if it's wajib or not. Um, uh, need to look that up. Mm -hmm. But uh, of course, it's you know she must have her own reasons for not getting married. Mm -hmm. But um, okay, but that's fine. Yeah, thank you. Um, so we'll move on to the next question to you, uh, Jabir. Uh, in terms of, so why do you think people choose to go down the love marriage route? So we spoke about the arranged marriage route, why people uh -huh. want, uh, you know, people go through their families mm -hmm. and they have reasons. Why would someone go down the love marriage route and not the arranged marriage route? What could be reasons for that? Well, I suppose we're in a, uh, like, uh, we're in England and we're, we're, you know, in institutions where there's no, like, boundaries or anything. So it's like, you, you're bound to have, like, uh, kids mingling and, you know, forming relationships. So it's, I would say it would be the easiest and most accessible and most promoted, I suppose, uh, form of creating relationships uh, here and now. Sure. Um, same question to you, Adil. Why would you say, uh, why do people pursue the love marriage route? It can be for a range of reasons. Um, you know, um, it could be, look, there's a wide range of reasons. I think generally, from my own experience, people that have ended up in a love, love marriage, uh, the love preceded the marriage, um, oh. and something led up to it. They might have been working together for a number of years. Uh, they might have studied together. They might have known each other from, you know, from when they, when they, when they were young. Um, and so there was already a connection there, and to take it to the next level, they then got married. Um, so I think generally that's the the the, um, the reason. But there's other reasons as well. I mean, sometimes 
uh, you know, the parents might not understand what the children want or need uh, in life, and they're not the ones that are going to spend their life with the, uh, you know, with, with the married in, in a relationship. They've they've lived their life in, in a lot of cases. Sure. They've been married for a number of years, so the child might then uh, want to get to know someone, and for, perhaps fall in love with them before. Mm -hmm. Uh, before they sure. get, you know, formalize it in sure. a marriage. Okay, thank you. Jabir, um, I believe it was Tina Turner who said, you know, what's love got to do with it? Mm -hmm. um, how big of an ingredient, and I, I think you might have been humming that before we came live <laughs> on the show, um, how, big, how big of an ingredient is love in marriage, in your opinion? Um, and how, this is how, how big, yeah. I so, you know, I, you know, I think what Adil was saying, where some people, it precedes the marriage. How, yeah. how, you know, is this something that... I think love is important in general. Like, it's, it's got to do... You've got to be... You've got to have your parents on board. You know, like, everyone's got... Like, the love's got to come from everywhere. It can't just be mm. our two, like, dying love. This isn't Romeo and Juliet. We're not in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> this is real life. So you, we you, have to deal with, like, actual think, parents sure. being angry at you, at people, kids having... But what do you say to people? I do... Uh, mentioned this that yeah. you know love has to be there before you get married what's your take on that well a love grows uh, so you don't necessarily the physicality sometimes destroys love anyway it just stops mm. it and nip, nips it in the bud so do you, like, physicality do you think some necessarily... youths might be confused by what love is and what lust is yeah yeah, of course, definitely. Music, um, people look up to the musical uh, like notions of uh, love and all that stuff, and it's always uh, quite heart wrenching and emotional and like very dramatic. So, mm -hmm. like kids are uh, crazy about Bollywood films too. Like, like, you mm -hmm. just latch onto sh silly notions that you know they want to uh, be rebellious against their parents who are trying to get them to marry this uh, boring girl down the road who they're related to somehow. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So it's like. We have to sort of have a maybe a conversation with our parents, be more open about uh, talking about more intimate things like men and uh, sure. men and women go through. I think I think we've got a call. I don't know if that's uh, Masud by his wife calling <laughs> in to counter what he said. I doubt I don't it. Know, I doubt it. Salaam alaikum, caller. Salaam alaikum. Hello, hello, salaam alaikum. Uh, sister, how would you uh, like to get involved with the discussion today? What's your take? Um, well, I've been watching the show since like uh, half it, so I know what's going on. Um, I just want to say, uh, following from what the brother said, um, I just want to say the fact that obviously there is nothing wrong in love marriage, that's what I believe. Um, obviously, because we live in such a day and age, we know that uh, where we are, the country we live in, where, you know, there's guys, there's girls everywhere, you know, um, people do get in contact, we do make relationships, but I believe that obviously we are following what the prophet said that, you know, you should obviously follow in his footsteps, he has a, um, a love marriage. And I just feel like it can be done in a right way. And it's only in a right way. You know, there's loads of people now that have love um, marriages and it, sure. it is done in the right way. And um, if you know that person's right for you, then, you know, there's no stopping you. But it's hard to find good people nowadays. You know, guys, girls, they're not ready to settle down. And that only depends on if you can personally find the right match for you. Um, that's what I believe. I just don't think right now... Um, there are many people who want to settle down. They're still in that, you know, uni mode. They're still in that college party mode. And I just feel like when you really want someone to settle down, it's just hard to find that someone. That's why I think I think it leads to a lot of people not getting married. And following from what the previous brother said, um, that's why you don't. Some people are left unmarried because when they had that time, they couldn't find the right one because of maybe their past uh, or something that they've done. Mm. How are you married, sister? If you don't mind. Uh, no, I'm not married, okay. but um, so, I've got family who are. Okay, so how, uh, you know, say, if, uh, are you are you looking to go down the uh, love route or the arranged route? It seems like... Uh, well, basically what's happened with me is, um, I'll be honest, I've had um, experience with love. Um, I don't believe it went right. So I'm just looking for arranged now because it didn't go as well as I planned. So that's really interesting. Thank you for sharing that with us. No um, problem. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. And uh, I'm not sure uh, the reference made about the Prophet having love marriage. Uh, I'm, I'm not sh quite sure about uh, that source and uh, where that caller has actually got that from. So just to clarify for the uh, watching audience at home. Um, coming back to that, that's quite, quite an interesting, you know, I appreciate that, that perspective where Masud Bhai, uh, the sister said that she tried the love route 
didn't work now she's actually going down and I was actually quite surprised by that because you know I think from what she said and saying that you know we live in this society and everything that's happened mm -hmm. yet from her personal experience she's now going down the arranged marriage uh, now that the love marriage the love route didn't work mm -hmm. what's your take on that uh, that's a tough one uh, I think uh Ultimately, for anything, whether you're going into a business, whether you're setting up a family, whether you're doing something, a project, you have to think, what do you want to get out of it? If you just go impulsively mm. and you just go for the first thing that you see in front of you, uh, it may not be the best thing. So there needs to be a bit of wisdom uh, and it doesn't come always easily, especially if you're young. So it's a it's a tough thing and being a young person also uh, I've been through that it's not easy mm -hmm. and you don't always get the right advice as well so when sure. you're confused you might go to your buddy and they might just say look just do the right thing follow your heart mm -hmm. but following your heart doesn't always produce the best result mm -hmm. you need wisdom you need advice you need to do a bit of research sure. uh, so when when okay. people when I'm working with people in business sure. I give them advice, I help them develop a business plan, I want to help them to set a goal. So there's a saying that begin with the end in mind. Mm. If you're going into marriage, it's a big commitment and it's probably the biggest investment you'll ever make. Mm. However you do it, whether you do it through the love route or whether you do it through the traditional, mm. you know, uh, you. what do you call it, yeah. arranged marriage route, sure. you have to begin with it. Uh, with, with the vision, what do I want to get out of it? And if you want happiness, if you want contentment, if you want a life companion who's going to be there for you, stand by you uh, through the tough times as well as the happy times, mm -hmm. then you've got to choose that person carefully. Yeah? yeah. Be realistic about yourself as well. Many people, uh, they don't look at their own shortcomings, but they want the perfect uh, partner you know, whether it is a husband or a wife, they just want all the boxes ticked. But the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, you know, you can marry somebody for their beauty, you can marry somebody for their lineage, their status, uh, or you could marry somebody for their God consciousness. And he recommended the and last also, one. And also wealth. And, and also wealth, yes indeed. And he recommended the one which is to do with the character, to do with God consciousness, the genuineness of the person. Mm. Because all the other things can come and go. They're all flimsy. Wealth, you have it, they, they could have a bankruptcy. I know people who are millionaires and now they're paupers. In here, in Bangladesh, wherever. Sure. Yeah, all over the world these things happen. Beauty, it can come and go. Uh, and what's the other one? Lineage. Mm. You know, your family status. It makes, sometimes it can be helpful, but sometimes it can also be a big burden. Sometimes, you know, it can hold you back. Mm. It can condition you in such a way that you can't function with people. Sure. You can't mix with people. You can't deal with people as decent human beings. Oh, so you, evaluate all yeah. those things. But remember, begin with the end in mind. Mm. No, I think that's really well yeah. said. Uh, thank you. Um, Jabba, coming to you now. Um, Bollywood films. Um, yeah. Um, I'm not going to ask you about your kind of preferences and stuff like that, which oh, one you enjoy. I was about to break um, out into some well, Okay, but in terms of Bollywood films, do you feel that, uh, jokes aside, they're deceiving our youth in the way they depict love and <laughs> marriage? What's your take on that? Um, I, I haven't watched many in a while, but um, uh, to, can I refer week, to yeah, one this film? Week. <laughs> Dilwali Dulhanli Jayenge. <laughs> I haven't seen the new version. I, it is queued up on Netflix, but <laughs> going from, based from that movie. Uh, oh God, can you say the question again? I was too, I'm too wrapped up in yeah, my. I think what I'm saying Bollywood is film, our Bollywood films. Yeah. I think just the title in it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. has taken everything out of me. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you think they're depicting love and marriage in the wrong way? Like people watch Bollywood films and think, you know what? I want a man like that, or I want a woman yeah. like that, and I want to actually fall in love like that. What's, well, your, what's your take on that? Everyone wants. And then to. we're going to ask Masud Bhai how he kind of the romantic <laughs> stance in his marriage. But, oh, I see. But if I ask you first, oh, okay. So what do you think? But jokes aside, do you think <sighs> we're we're aside. we're in a big danger of our youth Roma being disengaged? Romanticizing it, yes, perhaps. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. Well, romanticizing anything. It's just romance is just. It's nonsensical. It's just it's supposed to be airy fairy nonsense. Love is not romance. It's like it's a, it's a, people have confused uh, 
romance and this undying love. I think that we we've we've got another caller on the line. Lovely. Can I come back to you? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Salam alaikum, caller. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum, caller. Okay, uh, that's fine. So, Hello. Oh. Salam alaikum, sister. Well, um, that... My opinion on love and arranged marriage is that um, it doesn't matter if you love someone, but if you look after each other, it's for the future, uh -huh. and that's good. But arranged is good as well because at least you get to know the person for the rest of your life, really, don't you think? Yeah. What about you know people who say that through arranged marriage, you get to know the person, but through love marriage, you already know them. So is there is that? Do, would you agree that that excitement goes if you go down the love route? What's your take? No, I don't think they love God really. But um, if you love each other really, then um, you love each other for life really. Right. Sure. Are you are you married, it's about sister? Trust, isn't it? Yeah. Are you married? <laughs> no, not yet. Okay. So which route are you looking to take? Uh, to be honest, I don't mind. I just uh, listen to my mum and dad really. Are you saying that because they're they're next to you? <laughs> but, uh, not really. Okay. <laughs> and what's your mum's view? Is your mum there? Yeah, mum's well, here. Can she speak English or Bengali? <laughs> so if you are, can, can we get her view on this? I'm not watching you. I'm not watching you on this. Shut. Okay, I think my mum's a bit camera shy. That's fine. <laughs> she, she, can, she can email us, okay? So thank you for that. I okay, appreciate thank you, your call. Bye. Okay, Slonik and bye. Um, we're also getting, you know, emails flooding in as well. Uh, we've got one person here saying that... Uh, my relative who came from Bangladesh, um, when we were, he wanted to go down the arranged marriage route and his only criteria <coughs> was that the bride had to be, in quotes, fair and white. Okay? So, um, so that's quite an interesting one. I do, what would you say to that? So that's a bit uh, fair and white. Um, yeah, that, that was his only criteria that she, no, he was from back home. Okay. So that, no, no, so that my children would be the kids would be white. He wanted fair kids. Okay. So he's gone in and his only criteria is that the and partner married. has to be white. And, 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 and he eventually, yeah, he got married. Well, well, that's his only criteria. It's a bit, in my view, it's a bit shallow, I think. But, okay. um, you know, there's more to marriage than just that. Um, and I would sort of question his intentions if that's all, that's all he's looking for. But, um, you know, if it's working, then fair enough. Uh, you know, it sounds like it's an arranged marriage uh, unless she's been in contact with him for a while. Or, I don't know if he, I don't know if she knows that that was his criteria, but... Oh, that was it? Oh, yeah. right. Okay. Uh, no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look, if it works, it works. If it sure. doesn't, Thank then you. obviously, um, she needs to look at her criteria as well, not just yeah. his, um, and work it out and Thank like you. that as well. <laughs> Thank you for that. I think we've got another caller on the line. Salaam alaikum, caller. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, I just wanted to give yeah. my opinion on this whole love and arranged marriage thing, right? Sure. Go ahead, sister. Um, the way I see it now, with this, especially living in the Western world, should I say, love marriage it kind of just happens now and again. But with this arranged thing, there's a lot of pressure, I feel, coming from, like, culture and families that, you know, uh, you mentioned before, you have to be married for a female by the age of 26 or something, and uh, after that, you know, you're kind of past it and all of this. And I think that puts a lot of pressure on the youngers in our, like, you know, young Muslims and that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, sister. And yeah, so... There's that part of it, but then in regards to the love thing, because you've got that pressure on that side to get married, to be done by a certain time, to have certain boxes ticked by a certain age, you feel like you either have to get your love marriage correct or you failed. And then when you end up coming out of something that you've fallen in love with, then it puts a whole lot of, like... You know, I, I just think it's quite difficult to then move on from that. Sure. Sister, if you don't mind me asking, are you married? No, I'm not. Okay, so which route are you thinking of taking? Uh, the love or the arranged marriage route? Um, right now, neither. I just have no interest in it. Okay. That's really interesting. Uh, which, uh, okay, so thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, that's uh, quite an interesting uh, call. And I think the sister, you know, she breaks it down quite... Uh, quite well in terms of 
why some people might decide to go down the love route mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. not the other route. Uh, we've got another email that's uh, come in with regards to whether one should seek a love marriage or not the uh, Quran telling the story of Musa <coughs> salam, mm. says a lot when he helps the two women and one of them shyly asks her father that he should hire Musa salam. I think it's a beautiful example indirectly asking to marry him source not Malali Khan's video okay uh, if women see good qualities and character in a man they should be confident enough to get someone to ask them on their behalf a decent man will deal with it maturely so that's quite a that's a that's a very interesting way of looking at it and obviously the uh, reference on the Quran as well. Um, how, Masud Bhai, um, how, how much of a role did your parents play in your, in your marriage? Did you, um, would uh, you mind sharing that with us? Yeah, no, they, they, I gave them the specs if you like and my priority was that it needs to be someone who is uh, of a God conscious uh, kind of mentality, sure. if you like, you sure. know, someone who is pious in that sense, sure. and that was the. Was only, that your first that quality the, that, that you were that after, was or was that uh, after a list of other things? Yeah, no, I think that was the only Mashallah. quality that yeah? I specified, uh, and I haven't regretted, alhamdulillah. Uh, but uh, you know, I think uh, one thing I would like to pick up from some of the calls is that. There is a growing trend within our community. I think we've got another call online. Can I come back yeah. to you? Salaam alaikum, caller. Assalamu alaikum. How would you like to uh, get involved with the discussion? Um, I just wanted to put my opinion, uh, just from personal experience. Sure. And I don't know if you've um, heard of the saying, there was this saying where love can either end with marriage or begin with marriage. <laughs> okay, that's quite interesting. Do you want to just I elaborate mean, on that, sister? Sorry? Do you want to elaborate, explain that in a bit? Yeah, more? Um, yeah. I have seen quite, like, alhamdulillah, my one was arranged. And, you know, like, after marriage, there's so much for you to experience and learn with your partner. Whereas there are certain people like who have had love marriage, and everything you know, you've experienced all that with, before your marriage. Sure. Are you sure? So are you, say, are you, you saying? Married, are you saying that because your husband's next to you, sister? <laughs> no, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, everything's fine so That's far. Fine. There are love marriages I've seen, mashallah, you know, they're going perfect as well. Yeah. But yeah. sometimes you know they just. Because uh, a lot of things happen before marriage, there's a lot of things you want to get to know after marriage, but you've already known about it. Um, it gets a bit boring. Sure. I have heard people say it gets boring. You know, we don't know. We know everything about each other before marriage. Mm. Okay. So, no. Thank you. Sister. And then that love in between you also starts to fade away. It's really interesting. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. I think that's <laughs> okay. a really interesting perspective. Thank you. Salani. Okay, and so uh, we've got a lot more callers uh, who are actually queuing up, but we have to go for a break uh, because Brother Masood has to uh, contact his wife and tell her to call <laughs> in. And get the other side. Okay, so do stay tuned in. Salaam alaikum.